today's episode, I'm going power hammer hunting because we need a power hammer for this new workshop. Thank you to Cove, who is sponsoring this episode. More on them later. What we're gonna do now is go visit local blacksmith, Nigel Barnett, who's actually one of the first blacksmiths to really give me a start in this, letting me into his workshop, letting me use his equipment and soak up knowledge. He's got a lovely workshop, so let's head over there now because he's got a bandsaw and a power hammer that I might quite like to buy. Come on, Yoga, let's go. Oh, good girl. Here we are. Ranch and Forge. Check this out, you know you're at a cool place when there's one, two, three, four drop hammers outside. Hello, mate. Oh, how are you? Look at that. Look at that huge screw press. That one there, oh, these work. I took them out because I got the other mattress in. They come out of Taylor's Eyewitness. That one there was making pen wood. This is a 200 ton hydraulic press. This one's 300 ton. It's got a 300 ton. Look at that. That's a big one. 300 ton press. I love it. This property is just filled with endless bits of forged sculpture. Nigel teaches beginner blacksmithing classes here in Norfolk. Check him out if you want to give forging a go. The 500 weight Massey oil fired furnace. This is an induction heater. This works just on electricity. Have a look at that. You just turned it on. And already the corners are getting hot. That is a big chunk of metal and it is already getting hot. Oh, I think I need an induction heater now. That's pretty awesome. So he's gonna see if he can fire weld these two bits together real fast. Bloody hell, that does heat up quickly. That's just a matter of seconds and it's already glowing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a one minute fire weld. God, my goodness, look at this. Look at that percussion press. God, you got close fitting that in, didn't you? This is just incredibly huge. This is like that screw press that we have in the workshop in Montana, except it's big. It's probably big enough to actually do what we bought that one screw press to do. He's gonna heat up a bar of steel. He's gonna show us what it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one hit. Nigel doesn't have a mobile phone, or at least that's the only one he does have. 500 weight massy queer space. If there is a dream hammer, this is it. Very nice. God, this is just the coolest workshop. Uh, you know how much I love these things. They, they work. It's just brilliant. Look at that clothes peg. <laughs> How on earth have you stocked this place so full of stuff? This is unbelievable. I like that. That's a that's a great one. That railway track squished into the next one. He's got an incredible showroom of forged work he's made. And now it's time for me to give this power hammer I'm looking at a go. I put one on the floor. But that's a Burns door for 1958. I like the hammer. It was good to forge some steel for the first time in a little while. It was a good machine, nice and lively. It did have an interesting quirk though, which was as you hit harder, it slows down a little bit. We think we've got an idea about what causes it, but it wasn't too much of an issue. Still a good machine. Lovely stuff. French and Forge. Right, it's a new morning. The plan for today is we are gonna go look at another power hammer. We looked at that one German power hammer yesterday. That's a 70 or 75 kilo hammer. It's pretty nice. We're gonna go look at one that is now down in London. This is the most stressful driving I've ever done. I don't know how anybody can drive in London in a regular basis. I am just petrified. I'm so lost. Hey, hey, look at that. That looks like a power hammer. These are the Cove Audio 101Ns. They're brand new from Cove and they are fantastic. They're noise cancelling. You can get up to 12 hours of music playback on a single charge, up to 300 hours of standby time. The Bluetooth connects seamlessly, really strong Bluetooth on them. The memory foam ear cushions make them incredibly comfortable. I had them on for my transatlantic flight back here to the UK and I loved it. Felt like I was in my own little cocoon without having to listen to any of the aeroplane noises because the noise cancelling rocks. This is Cove's Commuter 2 Split Bluetooth. Bluetooth speaker. They're really amazing. They produce a lovely, lovely sound. I think they make an excellent Christmas gift for a loved one or even for yourself. See how loud they get? Nice. You can get over 68% off any Cove Audio product at coveaudio.com forward slash A68. So this is meant to be the identical power hammer to the one that's outside. This is his personal one that he's using. 
so we're going to turn it on and listen to it and you know, hopefully put something under it too. That oiler is just the coolest mechanism, the coolest oiler I've ever seen. It has a one hit mode here and it has a clamp down mode. So it's got a check valve, it'll clamp down like on the Chambersburg. Feels like a solid machine. It's one piece. Sends the ram up there quite a ways. So we're gonna get this wired up and see if we can get this one running too. There we go. We came to a deal. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Callum. <laughs> Appreciate that. It's gonna be coming back to the new workshop. The new Russian I don't know, Vladimir maybe? Maybe we call him Vladimir. Yeah, the That'd impaler. Be good. The impaler. Oh, that's yeah. good too. All right. See you soon. Very happy. Came to a deal on the power hammer. We're going to get that thing up to the workshop. It's a little bit of a project. There's some things that I need to fix on it to get it up to running, uh, running condition properly. It turns on and all that, but the sow block is funky. There's more on that later. We get to restore another, 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 another power hammer. This time it's a Soviet Stanko power hammer. Okie dokie, after a lot of driving, I'm back in the workshop at last. The next thing that I want to do is I want to try and uncover what relics of the past I left at my father's house, because I think I might have a few tools that could be useful to me. This right here is a spot where I did my first ever little bit of blacksmithing. And you'll see, I did indeed keep one or two things. This is my gas forge, and that is the base for the gas forge. So we should be able to do some forging rather quickly. We don't need to make a whole new forge from scratch, provided this one still works. Bunch of other little bits and bobs that I left. Oh, look at that. Hey, hey, I still got an angle grinder. So this is the second forge. I had a little lean-to shack where this sits. That was forge number one. And then there was this, which is just a grand space, especially now that uh, my father has revamped it into a little activity room. It's really quite funny to see my dirt floored workshop now look so proper and neat. This was a real privilege and joy to have this workshop. And it's so good to see that it's been completely refurbished into something really spectacular. It's a nice space. It just smells so good in here. Wow. It smells like your, it smells like a wood workshop. I don't suppose you have a spirit level I could borrow because I don't have yeah, one. Sure. Oh, hey, one of those is mine. It, it is, look. <gasps> that was your Christmas gift to me in 2015. Look at that. Happy Christmas, Alec. December 20,000. Thank you so much. Oh, if you ever want to know who's responsible for doing this to your chuck key, that, that, that was me. <laughs> that was my old high chair from when I was a little baby. That's right. So this is... One of your handmade chairs. Yeah. I sat in this for a long time. Yeah. Is, and this is going to be ash, right? Yeah. So you would have shrunk and dried out these components and you made these while it was all green. Uh, and then, that's right. And then you pressed it together and it shrunk on. Yes, you, you make hugely strong joints with it and it's very high precision. You do it, well, you do it to a 32nd of an inch. And it's so light. Because it's shriven wood, Feel how light it is. Yeah, it weighs practically nothing. Yeah. And as strong as can be without any glue. So this is what you're working on now. This is a garden seat you bought and you're completely remaking it well, just I, to make I'm, your own. I'm doing a copy to make my own uh, because it needs a pair. And anyway, I find it very interesting. And then I will make a third one to my own design. Oh, perfect. Uh, because... See us doing a dry assembly without a so look at that, we've got the forge here. This is the forge that I have been using since the Barker Street days. You know, I told myself, well, I'll just keep the forge in case one day I'm here for a holiday. And I get an itch to do some forging, I'll be set to go. I kept a die anvil. I have a leg vise that still needs a new stand. I even had some super basic hand tools. So we are soon going to be able to forge some stuff at last in the new workshop. I've got a steel delivery arriving the day after tomorrow, and I could not be more excited to have some raw material so we can start making some stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Cove. Get that awesome deal down in the description below. And of course, I feel like this really needs to get addressed in the hustle and bustle of everything. I've not been able to address this myself 
but Will's power hammer falling off the pallet truck. This poor power hammer is broken. I can only imagine just how much that sucks. He's put two and a half months of time, sweat, blood and tears into this machine. And for that to get broken is a real shame. But I hear he might be trying to fix it with Jason at Fireball Tools. So be sure you subscribe because you might just be seeing it here on this channel. Thank you all. Bye-bye.